Are you having a hard time completing the Bad Signal story mission solo in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies? According to recent comments, some of you still are. So I decided to go in again myself solo. The devs added more zombies in tiers 2 and 3, plus extra speeder zombies. And I owe it to some of you to go in. No golden armor plates, no infinite ether blades, just a pistol and an AR. For new players, I will show you how to investigate the anomaly, break the seals, and leave the dark ether for everyone else. You need to try my Renetti pistol build. It's insane. It destroys regular hordes, speeder zombies, special zombies, and even melted the worm faster than my AR. The secret ammo mod to use in Zone 3 with this weapon is Shatter Blast. And if you want the new MW3 camos hard unlocked, bot lobbies, all the best schematics, the brand new nuke skin, or even instant delivery on pre-made accounts, check out MitchCactus.com. They are 100% legit with over 10,000 reviews on Trustpilot, so be sure to use code DK1 for 5% off. The link is in the description. If you have powerful items like infinite ether blades, golden armor plates, and mags of holding, bring them. It will make the Gormgant worm boss fight easier. Bring a legendary tool for your AR and a purple tool for the Renetti pistol. Seriously, I brought this pistol as a secondary weapon, but it is my new favorite weapon and outperforms any other gun I've used in MWZ Season 2 Reloaded. I know it's a lot to promise, but try it for yourself. I used a heat stroke blueprint but removed all the attachments to create a weapon that deletes everything. Start with the Jack Ferocity Carbine Kit, which turns the Renetti into a compact SMG. Add the 50 round drum for max ammo, delete hordes, and pick up more ammo so you never run out. For the underbarrel, the EXF Backdraft griff, griff, Grip provides increased hipfire accuracy. Hipfire away and ADS only for bosses or special zombies. For ammunition, you want the 9mm high grain rounds that hit harder. Lastly, equip the 1MW pistol laser to improve recoil control and accuracy. Equip your 3 play vest, a triple pack they are, legendary tool, epic ether tool for the Renetti SMG. For perks, bring Juggernaut for extra health, speed cola to reload and play it up faster, tombstone in case you fail, deadshot daiquiri for critical shots while ADS or aim down sights, and quick revive to reduce health regen delay by 50%. A hellhound pet is a good idea even though they can die quickly, it won't hurt to have one along. Do an escort contract or Collect meat in the Bad Signal mission because you will find a doghouse in the Dark Ether at E4. Be sure to like this video because you will find players to help you in the comments below. Shatter Blast is great in Zone 3, and now with extra zombies and speeder zombies, you can slow them down. A free Casimir? Take it. I brought two, found one during the fight. Three total Casimirs, nothing crazy, they're very expensive, but bring them. Turret Circle boards are amazing for the boss. It's worth bringing at least one in case a turret spawns for you. Bring at least three self-revive kits, if not more. Run contracts to build your essence points to purchase even more items. Select the Act 4 Bad Signal Story mission before loading into the game. It's available for everyone to investigate the anomaly. Vote yes and the portal drops you into the Dark Aether. Now we have 30 minutes to break the seals and leave the Dark Aether. There are four seals total and they all work the same. Activate the seal. Kill zombies near the seal. Once the counter is full, the objective is complete. Rinse and repeat at the other three seals. No golden armor plates, so remember to plate up. This hipfire Renetti build does allow you to shoot and plate up simultaneously. I like healing aura, but the energy minefield upgrade is better for these seals. And remember, it's Call of Duty. Never stand still. Move around, plate up, slide, jump, hipfire, plate up again, or you will go down. Once all the seals are broken, you are ready to leave the Dark Aether. Use the portal on the beach to leave. Moving to this location spawns the Gormgant Worm Boss. So we fly in, and the boss fight begins. Set up a sentry gun to help with horde control. Equip the turret circuits for help with hordes and the worm. Avoid the head bump from the boss by running or sliding out of its way. Avoid the laser shooting out of the worm's mouth, or better yet, Shoot the mouth when the worm prepares its laser attack. The laser will destroy all your plates if you're fully plated up. Remember to slide, move, dodge, especially when he does that head bump thing where he's trying to swallow you up. And don't be afraid to fight him on the beach. You will have some zombies around you. But slide, move, because a hit from the worm boss without plates will take you down. Use cover or plate up and keep moving. Destroy the little purple orbs because they can re regenerate the worm's health. 
Stay mobile and just keep shooting crit shots on the worm. And no panics, you get swallowed up by the worm. Make sure to spam the jump button so you can parachute out and you don't die from fall damage or you don't get down from fall damage. Uh, here's our turret circuit. We're going to put in our circuit boards. This is going to be so useful to help uh, destroy the worm. And now we just got to get rid of these stupid little orbs. Put damage on the worm boss. And we're just getting started. Uh, if you've made it this far, thank you so much. Uh, if you're not going to keep watching, I completely understand. But I did want to include the entire fight uh, without any edits so you can see the damage. Uh, I'm kind of struggling a little bit, but I'm fighting on the beach. Look at that. Hit from the laser, takes me down. So that's one self revive down. I gotta get these stupid orbs done. Okay. So now I'm just gonna focus. Crit shot. The little purple areas. I'm hip firing, which is kinda crazy. Um, I should ADS with this gun, but there's so much stuff going on that you're almost better off hip firing as much as possible. In the second half of the fight, I realized that uh, my little SMG is actually a beast. And so I use it more than the AR to actually uh, fight the worm. Anytime you get launched in the air, just spam the jump button. You're going to have to pull your parachute or die to fall damage. There, I'm moving out of the uh, way of the laser and shooting the laser. Uh, you want to just keep moving. Move around. I'm finally putting down my sentry gun to keep any uh, enemies off me. Watch out for that head bump. And I'm going to get down on the beach again because he's focused up top. Why am I not ADSing? I'm not sure. There we go. Finally. <laughs> but I see zombies coming. So I pull out my little Renetti for the zombies. He's about half, half health. I go ahead and try to shoot the laser there. I missed. But here he comes again. And I got to dive or slide out of the way. He's going back under. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep uh, hitting that little ammo spot so I don't make sure I don't run out of ammo. I get sucked in here. And that's okay. We're going to spam. I'm shooting my gun too. You can shoot your gun in there. That'll do some damage to him. And then spam the jump button. This was a terrible idea. I thought that because, you know, I was in the water. Okay, I didn't do it yet. <laughs> You'll see it in a little bit. Pistols uh, shoot underwater. And you'll see what happens to me here in a second when I try to shoot uh, the worm from the water. Terrible idea. But here I am just hitting him with um, my pistol because I realize like the pistol's doing so much damage. I do need to get kind of close, but doing real serious damage so here goes the great idea I'm like oh yeah pistols shoot in the water <laughs> <sighs> there goes one self revive and another get the hell out of the water never go in the water to fight the worm stupid idea you can fight people in war zone in the water but <laughs> don't fight the worm in the water I think at some point I lost my uh, decoy grenades so I just picked up whatever I found which happened to be uh, stims and you know what great uh, stims are good I dropped the healing aura just I don't know I thought my health was low I see him coming so now I'm sliding out of the way getting those crit shots slide again move run away whatever I need to do oh I've got a Casimir so I need to get rid of the little purple orbs to get more ammo just in case and he's almost dead He's almost dead. I need to get rid of these stupid little purple orbs. And hopefully I do that soon. I'm going to like take my time here. I don't want to die, but I got to get him with this gun. I do switch weapons here. And because I needed to reload, it's faster to switch weapons. He is practically dead. I need to do a little more sliding. 
back with the Renetti pistol and well he went underground so I think he's gonna swallow me up again I'm gonna come up here to try to get these uh, worms and kind of like replay reload get rid of the little orbs get rid of any zombies in my way yeah these orbs they they gotta go he's almost dead okay the worm the orbs are gone the sent the sentry gun is still up amazing I thought I brought more than one I brought only one um, I don't know where those two, I thought I brought those two in whatever I found them somewhere maybe in the dark either and look at that he's so close to being dead so I keep shooting spam the A so I don't fall or die to fall damage or get down to fall damage um, I still got plenty of self revives. I brought in four total. Crit spots, crit shots, crit shots, crit spot. <laughs> Hit him with the AR. Reload. Hit him with the AR again. I actually destroyed him with the AR. But I feel like that little, uh, S that little SMG, that Renetti pistol, really did a lot of damage. Um, Try it out for yourself, I promise you, in Zone 3. I didn't put a lot of footage in, because look, we're already at the 11 minute mark of the video. But I wanted you to see that that thing is amazing. Uh, and I guess both the AR and the SMG did great, but I promise you, use that, a that, that SMG in Zone 3, Shatter Blast, it destroys hordes. It melts special zombies and it really, you know, eats up the health on a worm boss. Or any type of boss for that matter. And of course, <laughs> you can't shoot the Renetti underwater. Just don't do that here. Don't do this. Don't go into the water to fight the red worm. I'm gonna get rid of stuff that I don't need. I don't know why I brought that extra um, mask. Um, I don't even need the extra self revives. Really, I used two self revives out of the four that I brought. Spoiler alert, let the cutscene in. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to stay updated on the most recent Modern Warfare Zombies updates, patch notes, and tips. Thank you for watching. My name is Dreadnoughts1, and I'm out. Go away now. Boom. I guess it's time to make a video. Yo, I, I, I think that Renetti is going to be like my secondary weapon from now on. And it almost felt like I could use it as a primary weapon. 
it performed better. It outperformed that SVA with a purple tool. It got the special zombies. It did a lot of damage on the worm. Destroyed the hordes up close. Really like that weapon.